This dish is all about cooking fish perfectly, a question you get asked a lot by loads of people. We're gonna serve it very, very simply with a little bit of spinach and some mushrooms, both as a sauce and some roast chestnut mushrooms. But it's all about the fish. So what I have here is a beautiful piece of cod. Got the fishmonger to take it, take the skin off and just trim up any of the bones, debone it, get them to do all that, it's quite a skilled job. And I'm gonna give you a little trick on how we stop fish from falling apart in the pan. All we do is we get a little bit of cling film, like so. And I'm gonna take a little bit of mold and salt. We're not gonna use that much. All we're gonna do is lightly sprinkle it in an even fashion, just on our cling film. We get our piece of fish straight in on top. Now this can be done with any white fish. The method is always the same. On top then, a similar amount of the mold and salt, like so, in a nice even layer. So it's very, very simple at this point. We push our cling film up, straight over on top. All we do then is we roll it over on itself. What I have here, you'll see, is the cling film is held in by the board. That makes it much simpler. It allows us to get a lovely tight sausage roll. Keep folding it over. Now, it's nice and firm there. All I do is I get a knife, straight across, just like so. Pull slightly apart the cling film. Give it two or three twists. That's gonna spend two hours in the fridge that salt will actually disappear. It'll dry out all the moisture and it'll firm up the fish ready to be cooked in the pan. Next up, we're gonna make a very, very simple mushroom sauce using a few key ingredients. So roughly chopped one shallot. And that can go straight into our pot. Next up, mushrooms. So again, gonna just half them. And then we're gonna go into quarters. Now, we can start to hear our shallot starting to go in the oil. The mushrooms go in there, clove of garlic, roughly sliced, not being too worried about how it looks because it's all gonna be strained off at the end. And that goes in there. So they're all nice things we like to eat. I always add salt in the base of shallots or garlic just to make sure we get the sweetness out of them as opposed to the bitterness. That goes in there. We're gonna take a little bit of lemon and all I want is one very, very small sliver of the zest. Don't have to go too bitter. That's gonna give it a little citrus fragrance, bearing in mind this is going with a piece of fish. Next in, a sprig of tarragon, and then 10 grams of our dried mushroom mix goes in on top. So it's just porcinis and a little bit of dried shiitake. At this point, on that high heat, it's ready for just a couple of mils of cream. And just let it tick away for about 20 minutes so we get all that flavor out of the mushrooms. So here's one I prepared a little earlier. It spent about two hours in the fridge with that salt. That's our perfect piece of cod ready to cook. All the flavors come out of the dried mushrooms. It's gone that kind of golden deep brown. So all we need to do is strain it off. So what we will leave behind is all the good stuff. It's the dried mushrooms, the tarragon, shallot, garlic, and a little bit of lemon. And we're left with the base of our sauce. So we're just gonna put that back on the heat. At this point, we'll add a little bit of butter as well. Keep it moving. This is what we call Monte au beurre, and it's gonna give a lovely glossy shine to the sauce, taking it up and add that little bit of richness. We're gonna add a touch more salt, and a squeeze of lemon juice, and it's very often these two things that make especially sauces absolutely delicious. So last part of our garnish is just gonna be some roast mushrooms. I haven't gone for anything fancy, these beautiful baby chestnuts, and we're gonna very, very simply caramelize them in the pan, build that flavor. Just a little clove of garlic, Last but not least, a little sprig of tarragon, one of my favorite herbs. And we're gonna let that tick away there very, very slowly until we get nice caramelization on the flat side. Flip them over and they're ready to serve. So our fish is about seven minutes on the heat here. I have not touched it, I've let it caramelize on the base and you can see here, it slowly started to cook the whole way up. Flip it over. The heat's gone off, I give it a little dash of oil on top. And we're gonna let it sit there for maybe one more minute and it's a perfectly cooked piece of fish. We're gonna very quickly cook our spinach. Seems like we might be cooking a lot of spinach here. But what it does is it wilts down, and that sizzling you're hearing is all the moisture coming out, and it's gonna intensify right down into a small amount. We just get a little paper towel, straight in on the paper towel, and not only will that squeeze out any of the excess moisture in there, but we can keep it in the towel, it will hold its heat until we're ready to put it on the plate. Now all left to do is plate it up and make it look beautiful. So here, we have a secret piece of kit, a Bush retro record player. It does not play music, this always gets a good laugh from the customers in the restaurants. This is just a little bit of cream spinach. 
and you just build it up nicely. A few caramelized potatoes. This is just some button mushroom, which I've just cut very, very thinly. This is our perfectly cooked piece of fish. And we're just gonna finish it with that beautiful lemon and mushroom sauce.